Today we are headed straight to the bedroom and I am tackling a common design myth. Now when people think of vintage they think lace doilies, grandma's quilts, floral upholstery, but I think it's time we take a new look at something old. I'm Leah Ashley and I've turned my love of vintage into a lifestyle. Whether it's a flea market, garage sale, or your grandma's closet, I live for a good treasure hunt. I believe that adding antiques and unique vintage finds into your decor brings your space to life and gives your home its soul. And it's my mission to share this passion of how to find the balance between old and new and to show you how to incorporate vintage into your home no matter your design style. This is Vintage Style Modern Life. On this episode of Vintage Style Modern Life, I'm going to show you that by choosing the right modern piece of furniture and adding in touches of vintage accessories, you can achieve a layered look that is both cozy and expertly curated. Since the bedroom can be a shared space, it's really important to think about both people's design tastes in one space. Now that can be a real challenge. You've got two different people, two different points of view, and typically they always have two different design senses. Take my husband and I, for example. He likes modern, industrial, kind of masculine, and I like things to be lighter, airier. When it came to choosing bookcases to finish our master bedroom, normally I would go vintage, but I knew that I had to go new. We ended up choosing these bookcases from the Design Network because they are simple and they had elements that we both love. The steel and dark wood feel a bit masculine and at the same time, I love how open they are. I also love the distressing of the wood and the little bit of blue that shines through on the finish. The bookcases are both sturdy and charming and will be a great place to show off my different collections of curiosities. Now, styling the bookcase can be an art all in itself. It is so easy to end up with cluttered shelves because you just keep adding things. Now, just because your shelves can hold a lot of stuff does not mean that they should. Now, especially in the bedroom, we wanna think clean, chic, not cluttered. So I decided to go with all accessories that are neutral in color. I always start with the largest objects first. So on my side, I started with these really cool vintage orchard baskets. They're fun, they've got a little bit of color, not too much. But what I love about the most is you can put stuff in them. They're a great way to add a little bit of extra storage to your room. On my husband's side of the bookcase, we are starting with this large toolbox. He's gonna love it because it has that kind of industrial vibe for him, but I love it because, again, more storage, and it's also a simple, grounding, neutral color. Next up, I'm gonna add some art. Now, adding art to a bookcase is a really great way to personalize the bookcase have a little meaning behind your decor. I love that. In my case, I have this awesome photo of these horses that I actually found at a thrift store, and I loved it so much, my mom was with me and she bought it for me for my 24th birthday. On my husband's side, I added this kind of cool frame because as I was shopping for artwork, nothing was really jumping out at me, and I also love the simplicity of just a simple, pretty frame. No bookcase would be complete without Books, of course. These books are really extra special to my husband and I. They are from my father-in-law's library. He passed away a few years ago, and so this is a great way for us to keep him close in our bedroom. Is that weird? I particularly love vintage books because I think they have a really cool old look to them. They usually come in really fun colors, like see the blues and the greens and reds. But in this case, it just felt like too much going on. So I actually reversed the books and now their spines are facing the wall and all you see is kind of the muted, neutral colors of the pages in between. So when it comes to adding life to your bookcases, it's important to add some life to your bookcases and I do that by adding plants. Succulents are my go-to because I can't kill them. At least it's really hard to kill them. To plant my succulents, I'm using these vintage, really heavy bowls. Don't they look heavy? When I first saw them, I thought they were concrete. They're not. They're light as a feather. They're paper mache, and they're actually vintage Indian grain bowls. The accessories really bring the bookcases to life, and they add personality to each and every one of the shelves. I found this little clay cow at a thrift store. I'm not actually sure that it is a cow. It could be a llama. It could be a horse, maybe a donkey, but I'm gonna go with cow. The little black jack is really cool. It is actually a flip target. And it turns out that people use them for target practice. So every time you shoot at it, it flips over. I don't care about that. I just think it looks really cute on my shelf. The glass jugs add a really cool vibe, but they're very airy. You can see right through them so it doesn't feel cluttered on the shelf. 
So I didn't want to leave my husband hanging when it came to art on his side of the bookcases. So I actually found this little Native American guy. I'm obsessed with him. I'm not sure if he's a chief or what he is, but he was $2 and I knew he'd be perfect. For my husband's side, I also wanted to mimic the idea of the glass bottles, but I wanted his to be a little bit more masculine, so I opted to go with these vintage amber bottles. Now I've collected these for years, one of them is an old Clorox bottle, and I don't know what the other two are. To complement the big toolbox, I had to add this smaller toolbox. I love this little toolbox, and its details are great, and I just think it really goes with the rest of the room and kind of pulls in the green of the succulents. Adding a little bit of antique pottery is a great way to just give your bookcases a little bit of a grounding element. I found these two pieces at someone's garage sale, and I'm not quite sure what the little Japanese one is. I think teapot? My husband and I actually have matching hands on each side of our bookcases. Now, it's a really fun story. I found his peace sign hand at a thrift store in Santa Monica, California, seven years ago. And then I came across my little fingers crossed at an indoor flea market two days ago. It just goes to show you, you never know when or where you're gonna find super cool things. Overall, I'm really happy with the way these bookcases from Dovetail turned out. They are simple, clean, and color coordinated. They feel modern, even though all of the accessories are vintage items that I've collected over the last few months, sometimes even up to years. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Vintage Style Modern Life. I hope I inspired you to get out there and hunt for the perfect piece. And if you liked any of the looks that you saw in today's episode, you can shop them on the Design Network. See you next time.